Hi, so in this video today what we're going to be looking at is how to implement a passwordless login and passwordless sign up for that matter. So as you can see here, uh, we only have the email or phone um, field and a login button. We've got our sign up button here. Uh, this is for a community page um, and I'm going to show you how, what we're going to implement. So if I go ahead and click sign up, we're taken to the registration form. First name and email address, really simple. So I'm going to call myself just a different name just to make it simple and easy. So, uh, and I'll use my surname. We click sign up. Oh, that's my, my uh, email address, apologies. So if I use my email address, my first name, I will now get a verification code sent to my email address. So if I check my email address, have a look for the verification code, and what I will find is, and I click verify, that's me signed up now to this uh, community, community cloud instance. Um, and there we go, ready to, um, ready to do whatever I need to do in this community. What we're going to have a look at is if I now, we're going to open it again in an incognito tab, and I'm just going to have a look at, in fact, two seconds, we'll grab that, open a new window, and let's go back to that um, community page. This time I'm going to log in, so just my email address this time, and I'm going to click log in. And again, no password needed, I've not um, set a password at any point during this um, process. I'm all, I'm potentially always going to have my phone on me so I can get my email address. This could be a text message um, rather than an email and we'll show you how to set that up in a second. But I've not only signed up but I've now logged in without needing a password. And sometimes passwords can be a bit frustrating when you have to rely on a password manager or you've got lots of different passwords for lots of different places. So let's jump into Salesforce and see how we've done this. So what I need to do is go to my community page, my experience site, and go to workspaces once I've created my site. What I need to do here is I need to go to the administration tab, which you'll see in the top left over here. Uh, apologies, bottom right over here, administration. We're going to go to login and registration here. And what we can do is we're going to scroll down to the login page type and we're going to click login discovery. This is where we can now prompt what we want to capture. So I want to capture email address or password as their uh, or phone for their way to log in. And we can create a default kind of uh, um, auto generated um, discovery handler. This is an Apex class. Uh, you click the button, it'll pre-populate it there and it is designed for email and phone. We can obviously go into this Apex class and adapt it so we can make it a bit more of our own but if you just want an email or phone creating the default um, auto created discovery login handler will just be fine. Login executed as so this needs to be a um, an admin potentially or an integration user a, uni a unified user throughout the org. Um, and we didn't need that one, but we do want to keep that there so that they can log in with their username and password if they so wish. And as we move down, we now see the reg registration page configuration. So we want to allow them to um, self-register, fantastic. And what we're going to pick is configurable self-reg page. And this means that I can now capture whichever information I want. First name and email address is what I chose. Um, maybe for this situation with them not doing a password and we want it to be quick and easy for our customers to sign up and use our page really bare minimum information on sign up because we want to get them in there as quick as possible so email address yes first name would be good last name potentially even better and that's probably bare minimum possibly even mobile phone and again we're going to click the configurable um, self-registration handler the auto uh, populated one but again we can go into our apex and we can update it change it and amend it however we want 
And at this point here is where we can now check the verification method. So I said we could have an email or a text and you can choose text message here. However, you need to buy additional Bolton licenses um, per text message cost. Uh, email is free though. And we can have it include password on there if we want, but we're not going to for this. And then we need to present, present the um, user when they create an account on our community page with a profile. So we've got the profile here. All of them are going to be put into NTO customers account. However, something to note is that if we're going to put them all into one account, we need to be careful of our um, sharing and visibility settings. So if you're looking at our sharing sets, we don't want to grant them access to the rest of um, to their accounts, uh, cases, orders, uh, contacts. Otherwise, everyone who creates an account on our portal will be able to see each other's personal details, and that's not good. So we want to keep it as restricted as locked as possible, or have it originally on create maybe send it to this account. And then after create, maybe do some other automation in the background to filter it out into their own accounts. We can go ahead and click save, and then this will allow you now to do exactly what I showed at the beginning of the video. I hope that was helpful, and thanks for listening.